Now you can see that this rock has a very sort of ye yellowy greeny tin to it and because this is currently a fish only tank it's not really a big problem at all but if you wanted to minimize algal growth and you wanted to really offer optimal water quality for your fish and even create an environment that you could easily integrate live corals into then you really want to aim to have rock which is a purpley pink coralline color and basically the color of your rock represents what the water quality of your tank was like last month so if you slowly improve the water quality of your tank that means raise your calcium level raise your magnesium level raise your KH level and decrease your phosphate and nitrate level then very slowly over time the rock will change color and in a perfect world this rock would be a beautiful purpley pinky color and it would look magic and the coralline algae which looks beautiful will compete for photosynthetic energy with your noxious algaes and it will look really wonderful now the only way you're going to do that is by ensuring that your water quality is good the easiest way to ensure your water quality is good is by putting a dosing system on the tank so you don't need to think about adding these additives and then you just over time ensure that there's supplement in the dosing pump and over time as your water quality improves the color of the rock will improve and then over months and months not quickly you'll eventually get this beautiful purple coralline color on the rock and it will reduce the maintenance of your aquarium and really create an optimal environment for both your fish and any corals that you might decide to get.